Facebook Events New User Primer. From all of us at Modern Drive, I want to thank you for purchasing the plugin, and I hope that you enjoy it. What we're going to walk through right now is a basic, straightforward process, installing the plugin, activating it, and plugging in your license key. You're probably already familiar with how to do this if you've used a previous Modern Drive add-on, but if not, bear with me, it's going to be a very simple process. From the dashboard of my site here, I'm going to go directly into the plugins page. And from the plugins page, I'm going to hit this add new button. Now I'm assuming that by this point you've already completed the purchase on the Tribe website and downloaded the zip file that is presented when you finish that purchase. The completed plugin is in that zip file and I have it on my desktop right now. I'm assuming that you've done the same. If not, pause the video, go back and take that step. Alright, assuming you have it, let's go from search, this option that it defaults you to, into upload. And from upload, choose the file again directly from your desktop. Once it's chosen, hit this install now button. It'll work for a second, and when it's finished and says this plugin installed successful, you know you're good to go. You can activate the plugin from this page by clicking this link. And you'll notice that if you do so without any versions of the events calendar already activated, you'll see that I have the events calendar here on the site, but it's not active. I'm going to have a problem. It's going to tell me I need to actually turn on the events calendar and the latest version of the events calendar in order for this to take effect. All right, if I want to start using this plugin, I might as well have the core plugin that's required for it. So I'm going to go ahead and activate the most recent stable release, which at the moment is 2.0.11. We're, of course, on the cusp of releasing 3.0, but that's not out yet. The message goes away when I have activated the events calendar. And so now all I really want to do is make sure that my license key is plugged in so that I get full access to support and to upgrades for the plugin down the road. Notice there is this new Facebook tab created here upon activating the plugin, but we're going to get into that later. Right now, we want to go into the licenses field. Looks like Facebook Events is the only premium add-on that we have on the site right now, and we do not yet have a key in place for it. The plugin's going to work, but we're not going to get access to support or updates. Let's rectify that by going over to the Modern Tribe website and logging in with the credentials that we set up during the checkout process. Once that's done, I'll go into Account Central, into License Keys, and I will find my license key for Facebook Events. Scrolling down the list here, looks like I do have a free Facebook Events license here. It's not being used on a site. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the entire string, directly to my clipboard, go back over to the back end of my site, drop that license key into the slot, and hit tab. It's going to work for a second, validate the key. When you see this green message that says valid key with an expiration date, you're good. Make sure that you have saved changes and that upon saving, that message remains. Go back over to the Modern Tribe License Keys website and refresh to make sure that your site is also linked up. Notice that it is and you're good to go. You now can begin using the plugin in full, and it's time to move on to the more in-depth sections of the primer.